If you're serious about metal fabrication, one of those must-have tools is a shrinker and a stretcher. And usually you can do that in the, with just one tool. It's just a matter of changing the jaws. The jaws actually determine whether it's shrinking or stretching. Uh, I've got a couple of them so I can quickly move from, from doing one shrinking operation to a stretching operation or back and forth depending on what I need. Uh, the important things is, you know, like any tool like this, you want to keep your fingers free uh, of the jaws when you're actually engaging them. You also, you know, always want to wear eye protection whenever you're using any kind of metal fabrication tools because stuff can happen, you know, when you least expect it. With that, let's, uh, let's explore. With this one, we're going to explore a stretch to start with. And basically what's going to happen is the metal is going to be pulled apart in small increments and that, and that allows us to form contours and pieces of metal that you couldn't normally form. I've used the uh, shrinkers and stretchers to f fit various metal parts. You know, you, when you get patch panels and stuff like that, they never fit quite right. And a lot of times I need to go in and shrink and stretch in certain areas to get a better fit. Also used them on this car to get the fender skirts to actually fit perfectly. It's surprising how uh, when I first bolted the fender skirts on how off they were, but by doing some shrinking and stretching in areas I could get a good fit. So it's a good tool not only if you're doing some serious metal fabrication, it's a good tool just to get things to fit right and, and maneuver metal a little bit better. So with that, let's take a look at first with this one making a stretch. I have a actually a U-channel left over from another project we were working on. But uh, we're going to actually stretch this, and this will actually cause this, what's currently now a flat panel, to actually curve. And it's just a matter of feeding it into the jaws. And your foot decides how much or how little it's actually going to stretch. And then you go back over pieces. Once it is stretched, you notice we're not getting a lot of movement because we have actually two bends on this one. So we're going to flip it over now. And if you look closely, we've started to get this. So it's stretched. What's happening is is it's stretching this metal out along this edge. And again, you can start to see where in time we start to actually really start to move a lot of metal here. I'm going to flip it over, work on this side again. And now you can see just by using just by stretching this metal along this edge, we've been able to create a nice curve in this metal. Especially useful if you're, you're doing some you know, rocker panel fabrication, under dash panel where you got an extra panel under your dash to hold your switches and gauges. Can really create a custom look as opposed to just being a stamp piece of metal. With that, let's move over and we'll show you what a shrink looks like on this section. Now that we've got our stretching done, I want to change out the jaws on this so we can do some shrinking. 
And it's a pretty simple process, just eight screws and we can pull these jaws off because that's the entire action remains the same. It's just the jaws that decide whether it's shrinking or stretching. So with that, let's get this changed over and we'll start doing some stretching. We've already stretched the metal on this edge and you can see how it's created this concave curve. So now let's go and we'll will actually shrink the metal on this side and create a curve going the other way. As you guide your piece through here, you want to make sure you move it about the same amount each time. So you create a continual curve that doesn't have sharp spikes in it. And there you have it. The, uh, what we've done here is we've stretched this edge, created this curve, we've shrunk this edge, and created this curve. When you're stretching, it's actually pulling the metal thinner. And when you're shrinking, it's actually pushing the metal together and causing it to bunch up. And that's how we use a shrinker stretcher. Great tool to have in the shop. Gets the job done when you need to really fit parts the way you want or create parts from scratch. Great tool.